Assalamu alaikum. If I was to tell you to guess where I am right now, you wouldn't be blamed for thinking that I'm in southern India. But I'm not. I'm in a very, very special place in the Arabian Peninsula, but it has a special link to southern India. And I'm going to tell you the story of Charaman Parmal, who was the Indian king from Kerala, who went to Medina to meet the Prophet and embraced Islam with him there. So it's an amazing story. Uh, and there are many different narrations and versions of the story but some of the details which people agree on can be found in many different books of the scholars and you can see here in the middle of Oman in Salala, the place where we are now you will find the resting place, the grave of this Sahabi uh, the companion of the Prophet Muhammad So how did this man become a companion? And who was he? And where did he come from? And why is he buried here? So the story goes that he was a Hindu king from Kerala, the south of India. And some of the companions of the Messenger وسلم, came over to India to seek his permission to visit Sri Lanka, which was known back then as Ceylon. During the discussions which they had with this Hindu king, they mentioned about the Prophet وسلم, they mentioned about the miracles of the Prophet وسلم, and they also mentioned the mu'jizah, the miracle where the Prophet وسلم, split the moon. And this king himself, who was known locally as Charman Parman, witnessed the splitting of the moon of the Prophet وسلم, from his palace in southern India and he asked more and more who is this Prophet وسلم, who is this man how can I find out more about him he gave the traders the companions permission to visit Ceylon which is known today as Sri Lanka they returned back uh, to southern India to Kerala and the Hindu king traveled with them all the way to the city of the Messenger وسلم, in Al Medina Al Manawara he met the Prophet وسلم, he embraced Islam at the hands of the Prophet وسلم, he was given the name Tajuddin radiallahu anhu, may Allah be pleased with him he became one of the companions of the Messenger وسلم, who sat with the Prophet وسلم, who talked with the Prophet وسلم, who ate with the Prophet وسلم, and we have very little reference to this story in the Sahih Ahadith however there is one mention in uh, mentioned by Al Bukhari, uh, which this Indian king visits Al Medina and he gifts the Prophet وسلم, some pickled ginger, which is one of the specialities, even till this day, of the people of Kerala. The Prophet وسلم, took it and he ate from it and he gave it and shared it with the rest of his companions. So, this Hindu king saw and witnessed the miracle of the Prophet وسلم, with his own eyes. He embraced Islam with the Messenger وسلم, and he intended to return back to southern India where he was from. However, when he arrived in this city in Salala amongst these palm groves, he, he passed away and he's been buried here ever since. However, the delegation which he was returning to Kerala with included the great companion of the Messenger وسلم, Sayyidina Malik ibn Dinar radiallahu anhu and he carried on the journey, continued onto Kerala and he is buried there and the place where he uh, has been laid to rest is known and is visited until this day. So that brothers and sisters is the amazing story of the Indian king who was a companion of the Prophet وسلم, who converted from Hinduism to Islam, accepted the Risala and Nabawiya as Sharifa, this prophetic noble message of the Prophet وسلم, and this is an example of one of the people about who Allah says about them in the Quran radiallahu anhum wa radu an here is the Indian companion the Indian king who accepted the message of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and what's amazing is this whole area is as if you were in Kerala even before I knew about this place I said to my family this place reminds me of Kerala in southern India and this is all from the blessings and the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the one who guided the heart of Charman Parmal and who was known as Tajuddin to follow the deen of Al-Islam and accept the messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and now he's buried just outside Salala in Oman in the Arabian Peninsula Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh